armed opposition groups uh, uh, do not only uh, 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 do not only fail to comply to the Kofi Annan plan, but they declare that it is their intention not to do so, which to us is, is a very dangerous development, a very counterproductive development. Uh, what we have done, as uh, some of you may have heard already, uh, is uh, come up uh, uh, with a new initiative, a new proposal for an international uh, conference on Syria. And this is an, incidentally very much in line uh, with what uh, uh, Kofi Annan was speaking when he referred to a contact group. Uh, but uh, uh, the contact group activity must start with something. And this, in our view, is a conference of uh, those uh, countries uh, who, are, uh, who can uh, influence the situation in Syria, who has influence not only on the Syrian government, but also on various opposition group, groups, and uh, who would uh, uh, coordinate and harmonize uh, their own approaches and, and views on the situation and their own actions. Or, of course, it's not something which is going to uh, somehow replace the Security Council. The role of the Security Council will continue to be there. The goal is to support the Kofi Annan plan and make sure that there is a fair chance for the Kofi Annan plan to be uh, implemented. We see little evidence that the regime is complying uh, with this commitment under the six-point uh, plan endorsed by the Security Council more than uh, two months ago. The opposition is hardening and turning increasingly to arms. Our terrorists are exploring the chaos. Gross human rights violations are multiplying. There are discussions going on about the possibility of establishing such a group. And the group would include countries with real influence on the situation, countries that can influence either side, the government of Syria and the opposition. If they could come together, and look at the problems in a coldly realistic manner. Say, Syria is not Libya. It will not implode. It will explode and explode beyond its borders and cause real problems in the region that nobody wants.